What's up guys, Austin from Electron Company here. Today we're gonna do a teardown on our all new motor, the EC4P for the Razor chassis. We're gonna compare it to an MY1020+, Plus, which is our version of the MY1020, and we're also gonna compare it to a generic MY1020. We have them brand new in the box so we can unbox them, see what they, get, what they look like when you take them right out, then we'll dive onto the inside and see what's going on in there and the differences between the two. Let's go. Let's open up an EC4P 6078, which we'll see the marking on the body. And we'll explain what that means in just a moment. All right. So, as you guys can see, we have a fully molded body. It's a direct fit for your Razor chassis. We have a bearing seal here. This motor is completely sealed. You can see it's also glued there. So that's gonna keep all dust and debris out. Molded, integrated heat sink into the body. So no hassle with that. And fan mounts on top and bottom. So you can see the markings on the back, EC4P 6078. You have the serial number, so these are serialized. We have our classic ENC orange high voltage wire. These are actually close to a 10 gauge wire. We'll show a comparison. The sleeving on this is really thin in comparison to silicone. So we'll show how, how this is similar to a 10 gauge. Um, so the pretty decent sized wires on there. We have a standard hall connector. You can see the white wire is letting you know that there's a temp sensor in there as well. KTY83 on this motor, if you didn't uh, know that. So yeah, that's it for this one. And we will move on to the MY1020 and see what that looks like. Here is an MY1020 Plus, fresh out of the box. Let's see. It looks like... Uh-oh, it's broke, but... Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay. So, as you can see, smooth body. Everybody knows what an MY looks like. Come with the ENC logo. Direct bolt-in for your razor. Nice clean holes. Orange wire. Uh, ENC standard, you know, and the same connector and phase wires as the EC4P. Let's talk about wires briefly for a second. So this is what comes on both the EC4P and MY1020. You can see that it is labeled as six millimeters squared, and uh, this will work out to roughly about a 10 gauge. You can do the math, Google that. I don't have the equation off the top of my head, but let's take a look. So I have one stripped back and we'll compare it to a 10 gauge silicone dead on. And let's see if I can zoom in on that. Ah, that's so great. Let's see. You see that? It's actually maybe even a little bit bigger, but they're about the same. So it is 10 gauge, even though it is deceivingly small looking, they are 10. So at face value, you can take a look at them both here. There's nothing special about this MY1020 on the outside. The difference between this one and this one we will go over is uh, mainly just the wires and the temp sensor, which is monumental in the razor world, not having a temp sensor and having those little skinny wires on this one is a big deal. So we'll show that in a second. But as you can see, these two are substantially different on the outside, um, but on the inside, they're even more different. Let's compare these MYs. Here's an MY1020 Plus. Here's an MY1020 Generic, something you get off Amazon or whatever. Just briefly, you can see the casting difference, just junk on the stock or generic model. Same thing on the back. Primary difference 
and most important difference is the phase wire size. It's much smaller on a generic model. And they also don't have a temperature sensor, so this thing will just send itself to heaven, and that's no good. So definitely better to go with an MY1020 Plus. You know you're getting quality MY. All right, so um, last thing I want to point out before we dig into these, I'm going to take them apart, and the next clips are going to be the internals. You'll notice that the EC4P comes with a T8F sprocket and the MY1020 Plus comes with a 25H sprocket. And that's because um, a lot of people will run their stock chain with this and that's fine. Um, it's highly recommended, however, with this motor that you run T8F, we have the ultralight kit on the website. So um, that's one consideration there. Time to take them apart. Here they are, all apart, end caps removed, and rotors taken out. First thing I wanna take a look at is the seal one more time. You can see that it's got a nice seal there. And then the back of the end caps are sealed with sealant and that makes it watertight. Whereas the MY has none of that and water can just get straight in. Obvious difference here is the 10 millimeter larger rotor on the EC4P. This is one of the main reasons, if you had any doubt, why it is a lot more powerful um, than the MY1020. Now, that's not the only thing about this stator that's special. It's not just that it's much larger diameter for the rotor. Um, you can see that we have more bundles here for the copper. But most importantly about the stator is, and you're gonna have to get this camera and zoom straight in here, is these stating, stator laminations are extremely thin. And I know that's very hard to see on camera. And I guess that kind of proves the point. Bent over. And then we can take a look at the MY. So this is an MY now stator. And you can clearly see the laminations and individual lines on this one. Um, it's very hard to tell because we're talking about, they are so small. But this stator lamination is larger than the stator lamination in the EC4P and this reduces eddy currents. And without getting all techno babble, that means we are more efficient and have less losses because of this. And this seems like not a big deal. It is a huge deal. Taking a look at the back of these motor, there is not a whole lot going on. You can see the copper there looking pretty nice on both of these. Jump cut about that copper, 180C rated. Same thing with the magnets. So it's a class F winding in a 38 UH grade magnet, which means 180 C rated by the specifications. That is leaps and bounds above other motors, especially in MY1020. That means you are much less likely to damage your motor when you're pushing it hard and getting the temps up. Really important. The uh, main thing we're noticing here is the wires coming out of the side of the EC4P, not the back. And that is huge for installation. It looks cleaner. It's way easier to put in your bike. You can put it in and out, usually without taking the tire off. You don't have to fight with the heat sink. You don't have to fight with this wire getting in the way on um, the swing arm. So we were happy to be able to do that on this motor. Um, we do have automotive grade hull sensors in this one compared to the generics in these. Obviously you can't just see that they're automotive grade. So that's just, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so looking very good on the body. Let's move on to the rotor and see the difference between the rotors on these two. Here are the rotors, EC4P rotor, MY1020 plus rotor. Right away, there's a couple distinct differences you're gonna notice. First of all, size. Second of all, bands versus Kevlar wrap. Third of all, bearing size. So one of the biggest reasons that this motor makes more power is the rotor size. So you can take a look there. This is a 60 millimeter rotor versus a, you can just see the, it is a 50 millimeter rotor. 
So it's 10 millimeters bigger. What does that mean? Well, this is simply just an equation of simple leverage. Not a whole lot going on here. You have a longer rotor, that means you have more leverage. And when you have more leverage, you're gonna get more torque. Just like as if I was pulling a wrench with a longer handle, I get more torque on the shaft. And that's the same thing that's happening with this motor. See, we have the 50 millimeter rotor on this one held by bands. The bands are cool. They hold the, uh, uh, you know, the magnets in and everything. The Kevlar wrap though, is gonna prevent us from interfering with the magnetic field. Um, you'll also notice the split magnet is pretty common on this style of motor. Um, we're talking about a budget direct fit motor for your razor. Both of these motors fit directly in your razor. This motor is designed specifically for a razor. Um, and these are both budget options. Like let's, let's not forget this is 299 shipped. We're covering the shipping. So 200 and some change plus shipping on this. And this is just slightly less than that. I think these are 200 uh, and some change shipped. This is 299 shipped. So these are really budget motors and you're getting a lot more for just a little bit of money with the EC4P. Back Back to what I was talking about though, sorry for my tangent on that. So the split magnet, when the magnets align together and the poles, the poles align, you're gonna get, the, the, the magnetic field is gonna align. So it's really not a huge deal. I did hear other people commenting on this. Um, and although we would like to have a straight magnet and we probably will get one in the future, there's nothing wrong with split magnet. Um, the last thing is the bearing size. So this bearing is a 30, 33 uh, mil, or I think it's 32 actually. Let me see. Yeah, 32 millimeter bearing versus the MY, which is measuring out at 28. Check it again. Whoop, I'm bad at this. Yeah, so 28. So you can just look at them and see that the bearing is significantly larger on the EC4P. You'll notice if you look at the EC4P that there looks like a bunch of dead space here in comparison to the MY. Not true. You can see that the rotor has the magnets and shifted upwards on the shaft for the EC4P which means that the entire motor is actually sitting more forward on the EC4P. So there's really not more dead space. It's the same. It's just, it's moved backwards in the MY and forward in the EC4P. It does not affect performance. Just something that I wanted to point out as this can visually um, throw you off to some extent. Getting ready to wrap this up. And I almost forgot a very important and obvious part, silly me, Let's go over the name real quick of the motor. EC4P 6078, that's the full name. Electron company, four pole. So I saw somebody mention this. So the, the rotor's four poles, four magnet poles, just like an RC car. Um, they, they go by the, the magnets, that's how we do it here. Versus three magnet poles on an MY. So it's a four pole versus a three pole. 6078, it's 60 in diameter, 78 in length. So that 6078 lets you know you have a chunky rotor in there. All right. So that's all I got for the EC4P teardown in comparison to the MY1020 for today. We are stoked to see uh, more videos and results coming from our users. And we are going to be making a lot more videos of writing and of uh, part reviews and such moving forward. So please stay tuned. All right.